Hey everyone and welcome to Reviews at Ryan and today on the channel I'm going to be talking about the brand new comedy horror film brought to you by A24 called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. This film has just hit into theaters, it is just now hitting wide. Before I get into my thoughts on this film, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, comment below your thoughts on the film and also turn the notification bell so you never miss any video that I post and I upload weekly. And now without further ado, let's get into my thoughts on this brand new film. Directed by Helena Rain. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is about a group of rich 20-somethings plan a hurricane party at a remote family mansion, a party game turns deadly in this fresh and funny look at backstabbing, fake friends, and one party gone very, very wrong. The film stars Amanda Steinberg, Maria Bakalova, Rachel Sennett, Chase Sue Wanders, Pete Davidson, Mahala Harold, Lee Pace, and Connor O'Malley. So going into Bodies, 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 I only watched the first trailer for this film. After watching the trailer, I was kind of thinking that this is probably not going to be for me. I did hear about the fact that this film was going to be aimed more to Generation Z. So just watching the trailer unfold, I was kind of like, eh, I don't think this is really going to be for me, but maybe with the horror aspect, I'll really like this. So I gave it a chance. The film starts out with this lesbian couple. You have Sophie and B. They're going to this mansion and this party is going down. There's a hurricane about to hit. You have Alice and you have Greg as a couple there. You have David and you have Emma as a couple. And then you have a girl named Jordan that is at this party. So the hurricane's about to come. They're hanging out in the pool. And then they go inside and they're playing a little bit of different games. And they want to play this game called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Now, what you may ask, what is Bodies, Bodies, Bodies? So this game, really picture this game to be like Among Us. It is exactly like that kind of game. It's just a stupid kind of game where people turn the lights off and someone, if they pretend like they're dead, they basically have to find out who the killer is, basically like Among Us. And these characters, they're really kind of stupid kind of characters, just like you would see in a horror kind of film. They do a lot of stupid things. They're on Twitter. A lot of this film really makes fun of the fact that you may add all these different people on Twitter, but are they really your friends? Are you really that popular? Just making fun of the generation. There's different points in here where you have TikTok. They'll do different TikTok dances and just trying to get fame off TikTok. You know how this generation really loves TikTok. So they're making fun of that aspect as well. And then there's another game they play in this where they're fooling around and they play this game called the slap game where they're just slapping each other as hard as they can. So just little tidbits like that to really make fun of the generation. So then as they're playing this whole bodies, bodies, body game, somebody actually ends up dead. And when they end up dead, they end up trying to think who the killer is. So this is a who done it kind of film. The film score is done by Disaster Piece. There's also a song in here done by Charlie XCX. So the film has that party aspect. It has really loud bassy music. But I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed at the fact that this movie is called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies and we don't have Bodies by Drowning Pool. I think it would have been awesome to have that song and have the let the bodies hit the floor when people start dying. I think that would have been perfect for this film but we don't have it. The acting was fine in this. Now I don't think that that anybody deserves an Oscar winning performance here but I think that the characters hold their own there's no dreadful performances here I think that because the characters they're dealing with a lot of different drama and there's a lot of petty different things here the characters can get a little bit annoying and you definitely see that there's a lot of girls here and they're talking about Twitter and all these different social media sites and who hates who and this and that so there is that petty drama throughout the film and there are parts where you're just like you're wanting these characters to just shut up and just get on with the movie and such but most of this movie really takes place in the dark because the power goes out during this hurricane. So a lot of the characters are actually walking around. They have these flashlights and different people are dying in the dark so they can't see anything. So a lot of this film is really in the dark. So I can see where people may be divisive on this film because the fact that the characters, they can be really annoying. None of the characters are likable on this. There's really nobody to root for. But there are different performances that are a little bit better than others. I think the main character, Sophie and B probably have the best performances out of all the characters here. I think the main problem though for this film for me is the fact that they market this film as a horror slasher film. I don't believe this is a horror slasher film. It feels to me that it has a little bit of comedy to it, has a little bit of drama to it, some mild suspense, 
but I don't really find it to be a horror movie. I guess because people are dying, they consider it to be a horror movie, but I don't really feel that way. The shots in this film and the camera work, it's not very good in this. There's a lot of shots that I can name out in this film that I really was not really happy with. There's one shot where they're investigating something, they're questioning a character, and literally they're in this room, they're all together, and the camera is shaking back and forth like this. And I was just like, I mean, this should be like a steady shot. There shouldn't be anything complicated about this shot. That was really bad, and there was another scene where the camera is circling around, and they're in this car, and they zoomed up on their faces, and it just looks like crap. It doesn't look very good, and there were two other scenes that I wasn't happy with with the camera, and that was one when a character is running in the hallway, and she's running towards the camera, and when she's running towards the camera, the camera's going like this. They literally could have sat the camera down we could have got that captured shot of the character actually running in terror but we get this the whole time there's just camera shots where the camera is just zoomed in straight like this into the character's face and i really just didn't like that they did that i don't understand why this is so poorly filmed a24 is usually pretty good at doing that cinematography aspect and doing camera work and i thought this was their worst as far as camera work i really don't understand how this film is going to get a 4k release because i just don't feel like this film would be good in 4k the majority of the film i would say about 80 percent of it is in the dark it's all black most of the time with just flashlights running around it's an all right watch at best I will say that they didn't do a really good job explaining the bodies, bodies, bodies games. I thought it was a very weak approach into how they wanted to do that. And then I also felt that there were some other characters that they could have done a little bit more with, but they get killed off fast. I'm not going to mention who those characters are for sake of spoilers, but I just felt that there were some other characters that they could have fleshed out a little bit more. I will say that most of this film, it doesn't really waste any time, but there's a lot of stupid things that really happen in this film, and it wants to make fun of that generation. So if you're cool watching a bunch of kids that really are just doing stupid decisions, like in a horror movie, but at the same time, it's not really much of a horror movie with a little bit of comedy in there and then a little bit of mystery, a little bit of trying to find who this killer technically is. With all that said, I'm gonna give a score of this film a two and a half out of five. It's an okay movie. I do like some of the performances, nothing Oscar worthy, but some decent performances. And of course, if you really are looking to get a little bit of a laugh and a little bit of slasher kind of vibe with a little bit of mystery, then this film may be for you. But otherwise, it may not be for you. But let me know down in the comments, what did you think about the film? I'm really interested to hear what people thought about the ending. I don't think it's a film that you really need to watch in theaters, but it may be a good film to stream on a rainy day. But thank you guys for watching this review, and I'll see you guys on my next review.